Hey Caitlin, I am going to use your totem to make a few points um, to show everybody. All right, so nice and clean. It looks like you did a good job with the mirroring. So now that we have that done, you still have your right side and there's a video on how to join both sides, but I'm gonna do it very quickly here. Um, because that's not the point that I want to prove here. So I'm just going to select all of my right side, go to expand appearance, and it's going to do, um, going to make that left side viable to, for a selection. And actually I'm gonna turn off your line. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna turn all that off too. Okay, so, the main point, oh, let me ungroup all this object, ungroup. Now let's see if I can select all that. Mm, let's ungroup again. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through here and select the line work for each individual object. And if you'll look, um, it's like two different sections here. So I want to make sure that I group them together and get the small group. And I'll speed this up so that you won't have to watch me do this. Okay. So now that we've got our objects grouped that we can easily move around, we do not want a totem where you have things that are just barely touching like this or that they do touch like that like on a balance right there that um, it creates a lot of tension and focal point and it makes the connection the focal point instead of the actual object so what we want to do is now that we have our objects that are built, it's not so much that they are symmetrical and we have to keep them in a symmetrical line. Now we want to like create our totem and because they're vector and we can easily move them around. Now we want to overlap, um, keeping them on the main, like you can turn your main line back on here. Uh, keeping them there but you don't have to like if you want to do it like that but I'm pushing I'm pushing them so that they overlap one another to break that tension and also to add a little bit of interest you know play around with this part you know even if you if you want to double up to together like this And then you can have like the flower behind and the apple and the um, soda behind there and do this like this. It doesn't have to be a tall totem, but it does need to still based off that center line there. And then we'll just turn the center line off that and see like if we like that. If we don't, then, you know, move things up off this line. Oop, do not do that. So you, you can sit here and play with this for a while. And then know that, you know, once you fill it in with color, and then you're gonna have to make decisions on what's going to be in front of the other. But make sure to break uh, those focal points where the lines are just teaching, or teaching, I'm sorry, where the lines are just touching. Uh, and you'll have a much more interesting piece. Okay, I hope this has helped. Thanks.